Okay, so we got our braised short ribs. Salt and pepper, sear it in the pan. I'm gonna leave like the fawn at the bottom. I'm gonna incorporate the mirepoix, which includes carrot, celery, and onion. That's gonna deglaze the pan and uh, incorporate the flavors into the vegetables. So, roughly three of each, and just roughly chop. Three celery stalks, three carrots, three onions. Three very small onions. This is just a very small pack of mushrooms that I just cut up very fine. It's an optional ingredient. You don't really need it. I just wanted to add a little bit more flavor and they were, I don't want them to go bad. So I added those as well. You see that it's the glaze in the pan. All that fawn at the bottom is gone. Now we're adding three tablespoons of tomato paste as well as flour to thicken up our sauce. I'm going to add some chicken stock. Just use the whole container or two, two and a half cups. Also a very small um, container of Guinness. Very small bottle of Guinness, just uh, one out of a six pack. Got flour all on my hand. Uh, we got our seared beef ribs as well as our sauce. Once that comes to a boil, we'll add the meat to it. And that's going to cook pretty much all day. Three to four hours. Just add them in one at a time. You don't want to lose any of the sauce, have it splashing everywhere. So uh, take your time. Because you're pretty much at the end of it. So we'll just put the some springs of thyme, some rosemary on top to finish it just before we put it in the oven. Put the top on there. The oven's preheated to 350. Four hours later, here's our result. Fish out those springs of thyme. Got the carrots and the celery and the meat over some mashed potatoes. I use cauliflower mash. And just pour the sauce on top. For the finishing touch, and there you go. Delicious. Make sure you try it.